Hello and welcome to part 4 of my Pokemon Red Gift Lock version 2. Our team, ladies and gentlemen, is looking a lot better than it did in version 1. We had already lost by now, spoiler alert. Uh, we have Magi Slash, the Scyther, rocking Quick Attack, Quick Attack, Quick Attack, and of course Quick Attack. And we have Cookie the Krabby, rocking Bubble, Lay, Bubble, and Lay. And that is looking better than last time, which is saying something. Okay, so in the last episode, we got all the way to Brock. We've even beaten the trainer in his gym. However, there's something we missed out, and we might as well go and do it for the extra experience, which is go and take on our rival back near Viridian City. So today's episode, we will be fighting Brock. Definitely, I'm not going to leave it on a cliffhanger again. I've already done that once. But um, we, we're just going to fight our rival first. So we're going to move through Viridian Forest. Not really looking for encounters. I'm going to go the quote-unquote, safest possible route. Kind of, except for taking an extra step there. There's an encounter, and you would get at least one. And it's a Chabuck! But we might one-shot this, because it's only, like, level 5. And we're, like, level 13 and 18 now, which is nice! Nice! It's very nice! It does not one-shot. It misses the wrap. I was just about to start speeding up then, just to skip through the wrap. We're going to try and use speed up an awful lot less in this episode. See how that goes, because... A lot of you guys actually commented saying I'm not really that bothered about speed up if it's like trips back to Pokemon Center and you know wild battles that are irrelevant and stuff like that which I do get but it seems like when I use it for that sort of stuff I end up using it all the time in more dramatic battles and that does bother me and I'm sure at least some of you guys as well so we're gonna we're gonna just try doing this at normal pace I did the whole Pokemon Red Let's play my very first series on the channel. I did all of that without speed up because it was I was actually playing it through my Game Boy cartridge through my N64, so there was no speed up. There was no option. So I'm gonna try and try and avoid it as much as possible. So we didn't take any damage, we just used a couple of quick attacks. So I think I think we we good to go and just take on the rival. Take on uh Aaron, our rival. Or not, because we're getting into a battle now. With a Jinx. We might need to heal after this, actually, because it's going to have Star Ice type, which is going to be super effective against Magic Slash. But I don't care, I'm going to fight it anyway. Oh, we one-shot it. I didn't know Jinx was that fragile, to be honest. And we get to level 14, which might come in clutch, depending on what our rival has. I know he's only got, like, a level 9 and 8. Wait. Yeah! Do, 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 do. Hey, Bazer, you're going to Pokemon League? Forget it, you probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? This is good because you can only do this battle until you have your first badge and then you'll disappear. So, that text is always correct. You probably don't have any badges? Yeah, you're right, I don't. Right, he's got a Nidoran. Nice, nice and about the same difficulty as he should be. Uh, poison super effects against bug in this in this gen, but we might be okay. It might not even have a poison move yet. Well, if it does, it's not used it. It's used tackle, and now it's dead, which is good. So, not an electric type. That's basically it. all I'm hoping everyone has at the moment is not an electric type. Venusaur. Now, I was training Magic Slash against Venusaur's in the grinding montage when we first started training him. So, uh... I can deal with this. It doesn't do that much, but it can't do much to me either. So let's just, uh, let's take it down. Nice and easy battle. Nice and easy. I'm glad we came back to do this. Now that'll do one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Quad resisted. Boom. Okay. So nice and extra experience. You get quite a bit off of Venusaur as well. And we have already got a level up by coming back here. It might not have been from this battle, but it was still from coming back here. I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. You're in the same place as me. Sorry guys, just thought we'd enjoy that music, because it's the greatest music in Gen 1, by far. Probably some of the greatest music there is in any Pokemon game ever, if I'm honest. Right, so he obviously caught his Venusaur here and trained it up a little bit. I haven't seen Wild Nidoranch yet, so I'm not sure where he got that from. Maybe he, maybe he block glitched like I did and went and caught a Nidoran somewhere. It's, it's possible. It's possible. 
Alright, so let's make our way back through Viridian Forest. And back to Brock. And we're going to fight Brock. We're now at the same level as his ace with our lowest level Pokemon. So, fingers crossed he doesn't have any crazy, like, Raichu. Basically, that's that's all I'm really fearing. Uh, or Zapdos. That's all I'm really fearing. I didn't mean to step in this grass and look what happens. Um, I'm not really fearing things like Voltorb and Magnemite because they struggle for the electric moves in first gen at all. Like, I think Magnemite gets Thundershock, but... You know, we should be able to take a Thundershock and deal it some damage. Hopefully. Hopefully. So we're not particularly looking to train on the way back through Viridian. We're again looking to shortcut all the grass. So, let's, uh, even though this is a longer route, it's potentially a lot shorter if you avoid a battle or two. I'm not going to bother going all the way around because it's almost as broad as it is long coming through that patch of grass instead. There we go. See? Made the right decision, guys. Nailed it. Nice. Okay, is this the one where you can go down the middle? I think this is the one where you go down the middle and you never get an encounter. And then one last track. We've got to get an encounter, surely. No, no. Oh, we made it. Nice. I mean, we wouldn't have really struggled to deal with the encounter, even if it was a wild Zapdos or something, like, because it's only going to be level 5 tops. But, it's nice. It's nice to get through there without any interruption. Uh, we might as well heal. We might as well go in all guns blazing. We took a few points of damage. With magic slash. It looks like, unless the block battle is going to be really intense, we're actually going to uh, manage to get a little bit further than, uh, than just facing Brock in today's episode. I was actually suggested to, do, to make episodes of this between 30 to 45 minutes, so... So we'll try a little bit of a longer episode today and see how you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section, like, what sort of length of episode you want. Because, you know, if if most people want shorter ones, then I'll revert back to doing shorter ones. I should have uh, read this. You said I'm Jim Pewter's gym leader Brock or something like that, I think. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all completely randomized. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then, show me your best. Yeah, so let me know what you think for, for length of video uh, for this series. Brock wants to fight. You got a Nidoran as well. There's some sort of Nidoran breeding place around here, clearly. Right, so poison moves are going to be super effective. We have to watch out for that. But I think until it shows one really gives us trouble, I think I think we should be okay, because it's not going to one-shot us with a Poison-type move. Like, not a level 12 mid one. So far, it's just shown as the tackle. Especially because it'll have Poison Sting, which is just such a weak move. Keeps growling, though. We're probably going to have to switch, no matter what, even if we have to switch Magic Slash straight back in. Just because of the damage that's been done to our physical attack. Like, are we taking, like, three or four growls? We're taking a lot, anyway. Level 15. Nice. Ditto. Yeah, I'm going I'm to switch, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be clever about this, because it's about to change into Cookie. <clears throat> I'm going to lay like mad. And what I'm going to do with that is lower its defences, because it can only attack me specially. So it can lower my defences all at once. I don't mind that. But once we've done six layers, I'm going to switch in Magislash and just start quick attacking and render it. Absolutely render it. Because this is still going to do nothing. It's it's resisted and Krabby's got low special. We know this. Okay, so nice and easy first gym leader. We ain't losing this one. We ain't losing this battle. Oh, would you look at that? Right, that's six. Lovely. And then Magi Slash. Do it! Let's do it! How much does this do? Five. We can take that. How much does this do? <laughs> Half. Over. Sweet! <laughs> right, so there's our first badge, ladies and gentlemen.
Boo -doo 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 I took you for granted. There's proof of your victory. Here's the bowl. It's a good job I know this script pretty much off by heart, isn't it? Because I keep missing the first, like, section of text just by because I'm skipping through and then re sort of reading it off the top of my head backwards. That, that sentence didn't make any sense. That's an official Pokemon League badge. It's bearer's Pokemon become more powerful. The Technique Flash can now be used any time. I thought you could just use Flash, to be honest. We were debating this. I was trying to remember, and I couldn't remember for the life of me, and I thought I knew everything about first gen, but for some reason, I can't remember for the life of me which gym leader allows you to use strength. Like, I just couldn't remember. Wait, take this with you. Why do you turn away? Right, it's TM34, but that's going to be randomised. It's good only once. Blah, 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 blah. Contains Peck. <gasps> Stab on Cypher. Yes. Also allows me to take ghosts. Come on, be able to learn it. No. Cookie can. And it's a physical move, so let's teach it to Cookie. Because it's a physical move, it's better than Bubble. Wait, is it better than Bubble? You can't check the base power of moves and stuff, can you? In Gen 1. Oh, okay. Okay. Music's down even lower than usual. Let's let's get the music back on. No, let's not. Let's uh let's peck. Pokemon. Peck move. Bulbapedia. Uh base power is thirty-five. And bubble. Bear with me guys, bear with me. Oh, I should have checked this before I taught it. Uh <laughs> too crabby. Bubble's power is forty. Oh no, no no no. Bubble's power is twenty up until gen six when it is changed to forty. Okay, so Bubble's power is 20. I thought it was. Um, which with Stab puts it up to 30, which is still less. And its special stat is less. So, pecking with Krabby is going to be better than using a Stab Water type move right at this moment. That's just fantastic. Okay. Oh, nope. We can't go that way. I know everything about Gen 1, guys. Uh, <laughs> so, without further ado, we're going to finally legitimately make our way out onto Route 3. Having beaten Brock, the guy's gone that blocks us from going through. And this is terrifying because you've got two... Oh no, it's two level nines. No, some other people have level 14s and they've only ever got one. I'm going to say because these are going to be high level and they're going to be randomised, so who knows. But these are only level nine, so it's okay. Two level nine Pidgeys she normally has. She has a Machoke. Peck Krabby would be perfect here. And it's probably got better defence as well. Let's switch, let's switch. I should have healed as well. Why did I not heal? Lear. Nice. Alright, are we faster? We are. Peck, have this. Nice! Scone that. What have you got? What have you got? Bell Sprout! Oh, okay. As long as we're faster, we might have a water type that can take out grass types, which is lovely. I mean, you get ice moves on water types as part of the course, but this is a slightly different approach to it, isn't it? Nice! Level 19 for Cookie. Cookie, Cookie, Cookie. Right, we're going to go back and heal. And I'm going to speed up that because that's really boring to watch. Here we go. Nope, missed. There we go. Okay, right. Back to it. See how much quicker that is? That's where speed up comes in handy, guys. That's where it comes in. Very useful. But my thumb's like hovering over the button now after one. It's like heroin or something. It's like... Oh, just, just one more, just one more shot. And it's just... <laughs> oh, man. Right. Let's fight this guy. Are you a trainer? Let's fight! I don't remember that, that battle challenge at all. I suppose it's because it's, like, overshadowed by, like, eek, did you touch me and eek, did you look at me and, hey, you're not wearing shorts and I like shorts, they're comfy and e easy to wear. There's so many, like, really weird battle challenges in this route that you sort of forget about the generic ones, I guess. And then there's the guy who told you he remembers you from Viridian Forest, but then when you play uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green and everyone's got a name, you've never fought that trainer before, and stuff like that. But then there's a theory that he's one of the ones who was just out with his mates. Right, even though it's a Venonat and we've got the type advantage with Peck, we're going to stick with Magic Slash because I feel like it can deal with this. It's got Tackle. 
Yeah, we can deal with this. Nice! Okay. So we're taking two HP damage and taking down two Pokemon. Let's use Eggs Egg Cute. I feel like that's not really that threatening. But I feel like I'm wasting uh, opportunities to train Krabby here because it's super effective. Should really be training Scyther, but the uh, Magic Slash, but they're both in the same sort of range of 15 to 20. And I like to train my Pokemon in five level ranges, if that makes sense. So I like them all to be in the same range of five levels. Like, like all to be within 15 to 20 at the moment. Tangela, Tangela. All right, let's, let's peck this thing as well. I seem to remember Tangela or Tangela in Gen 1 being booties and not having like any good grass type moves, so there you go, Constrict. So it's not like we're risking it by leaving a water type in. We took 3 HP in that damage between 2 Pokemon against 4. Just saying. And Cookie is already at the level of Misty's lower Pokemon. So I think this is going to be the case for a little while. I don't really feel confident taking on someone with level 5 14 randomized Pokemon just yet. Especially not with just Quick Attack. Do you know what? Let's go take it on with Cookie. Is there anything that resists water and flying? I don't think so. I think we've got perfect neutral coverage just with those two. Right, what have you got, Mr. Shorts man? Squirtle! You're not going to be able to do a lot to Cookie because your stab is resisted and your physical attacks, I have good physical defense, so... Do this. Ah, but it whips its tail back and forth. It whips its tail back and forth. Is that the first time I've seen tail whip in this Let's Play? It might be. Seen Lee. I think. I think. I know I've seen Growl. I saw Growl this episode. Lost, lost, lost. Yes, you did, did, did. Right. So, there's one more trainer who also has a random level 14. So, let's just uh, play it safe. Always missed by one there. Right, there's my uh, there's my fix for the for for the time being. Move my thumb away from the speed up button. <laughs> it's really hard, really hard to stop speeding up after just one or two little pushes of that button. Right, okay, so we're clearing out this route because we, we can't bother coming back here at any point. So we just got her to fight now. Eek! Did you touch me? I mean, probably not. We're just walking past. It's even funny if you walk past along the wall because she walks up to you then asks you that and it's like, no. <laughs> no, I did not. Got a drowsy. Nice. So, Peck is our stronger move and I'm guessing drowsy's special start is better than its physical defense because it encompasses special attack and defense in this gen. So, that's my guess. Okay, if we're going to be asleep for turns and turns and turns, I'm probably going to speed up. That was a crit and it did five. Right, so fun times. Non crit does three. We wake up, okay, but we don't get to turn because don't get a turn because it's Gen One, and the sleep is broken in Gen One. We didn't use hypnosis. It used pe it disabled pet though, so we're gonna have to bubble now. So right, one more. Ah, right, speed up. Oh my God, wake up! Right there we go. <laughs> I mean, we weren't in any danger of dying, so it doesn't take away any any drama there. Like, if we got really low, I'd probably, like, slow it down. Right. Okay, so, plane sailing to the Pokemon Center where we bought Magislash. I wonder uh, I wonder what the guy says. I don't know if I've ever done it. If you talk to the guy who so sold you the Magikarp, which is now Magislash. The Cypher. I wonder what happens. Let's, let's speak to him in a second. Let's just heal up. There we go. I like speeding through that. It's over in no time, right? Don't walk away from me. Well, I don't give refunds. I don't want a refund, mate. Do not want a refund. I have a Cypher that's doing very well for itself. Okay, now we have to make our way through Mount Moon. We're not going to get all the way through in this episode, but let's at least make a start. I mean, it depends how well it goes. I know my way pretty well. Uh, TM12 is usually Water Gun, but in this randomizer, it is Whirlwind. Uh, no. Purely because you can't even use it in battles on first gen, it doesn't do anything. You can't like switch. Oh, a leaf stone! 
Nice, now can someone give us like a Gloom or an Eevee or... Oh no, <laughs> an Eevee. That's not even how you get Leafy on even if it was in the game. What am I on about? Um, a Gloom or a Weeping Bell or... I think that's about it, isn't it? Strange men are in the cave. What? Oh, suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Yes, I am also in the cave. What a stupid question. Bugcatcher wants to fight. Come at me, bro. Paraset! I sense a one-hit KO in your future! <laughs> What effective peck. We need to switch uh, Magic Slash back up to the top. But that was nice. Okay, we definitely need to switch Magic Slash back up to the top now. Oh, we got Vice Grit. That's more powerful, I believe, than Peck. I want to say. What's he using? What's he using? Articuno. I'm going to stay in because that potentially has an Ice type move. Which would hurt Scyther. So, we play it safe, play it safe. Let, let's debut Vice Grip. Its power is 55, apparently. I don't know if that's in all gens or just in current. Let's, let's, let's click on it and have a look. But it's certainly more, more powerful than Peck. I'm sure of it. Nice and crit that we didn't need. Nice and crit that we did not need. Yep, it's been 55 since Gen 1 and still is now. Okay, right. Right then, let's switch. Oh, she's got a level 14 though. Let's go and heal, just... Oh, I was just going to rush back to heal, but never mind, we'll get into a battle. I was going to say, let's go back and heal just in case we need to switch into Cookie. Because we don't want to be switching into a half-dead Pokemon. Bubble! I bet that'll do loads, mate. Loads. I hate War Turtle. Like, it's one of my least favourite Pokemon, design-wise. Like, why has it got the stupid ear wing things? It just doesn't make any sense. Okay. Right, anyway. There we go, nice and healed. And now we are back on our merry little way. Let's fight you. Oh, Ruddy Kate! Getting in the way. Right, don't do loads of damage to me. Let's let me let me just like one shot you. Tail whip. Oh. oh wow. Oh, that was a crit. I was gonna say that was quite a lot. That did quite a bit. It's fine. Eight damage. We can take that. What? What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. Dum dum. Oh, if we had a uh, cookie out front, Bubble would do nicely here. Oh, probably st Wait, Bubble would stab 30, super effective would be base 60. Vice Grip would be 55, so depending on what Cubone stats are like, I bet Vice Grip would still do more. Right, because of how much higher my attack is than my special. Oh, it can't bo- Oh, it can't touch me! From version 1, we know this! Flying type answers Cubone perfectly. Can't touch this. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. Can't touch this. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Sit down. Two crits in a row. Nice. Beautiful! You lost. Yes, you lost. Just like I did to someone on Route 3 with a Pidgeotto. Spoilers. Spoilers! I hate Wild Turtle. What's your least favourite Pokemon? Let me know in the comment section down below. I wouldn't say Wild Turtle is my absolute least favourite, but it's one of them. Boom. Nice and crit that we didn't need. I like that it used Tail Whip. Oh, I forgot to do it. Whipped its tail back and forth. Never mind. Alright, so this guy walks all the way up to you and then says, What? Don't sneak up on me. Mate, I, you, you saw me and walked up to me. Like, how is that sneaking up on you? Oh dear, that's a bit scary. Porygon's a scary Pokemon. Porygon can be a scary Pokemon. Maybe not a level 11, but it probably doesn't have the, the tools to be scary. Conversion... Okay. Alright. 
So now it's a bug flying type. That's going to help it a lot. Oh dear, what's this? Raising its attack. Let's just end that. Thank you. We don't want to be dealing with that. 17! And learned lay. Fantastic. Just what I was after. Oh! Well, I would do Scyther versus Scyther. But that seems like a fruitless endeavour. That just seems like I'm taking damage on Scyther for no reason on Magislash. Uh, I have a super effective peck. Which will be base 70 and base, instead of base 55 when it's super effective, so it does come in useful. I was just about to say, oh my god, it's got quick attack, it went first. Yeah, it only has quick attack. Like, <laughs> and I knew this. Right, okay, so we're going to take four more damage. And then we're going to knock it out. Lovely. Mama said, knock you out. Okay. I feel like the team's starting to come together a little bit now. Not very good at dealing with electric types, but we're not going to be for quite a while now. I think the next Pokemon we get is in, like, Celadon. Which is just a long way away. I'm trying to think where else we might get gifted a Pokemon. I can't think of anywhere. There is a trade house. There's a couple of trades uh, along the way, which I would be open to trades. I don't think that's against the rules. I don't see anywhere anyone saying you can't trade Pokemon um, in game trades. I probably won't, though, because, you know, I quite like my team. I might trade it for like a Mewtwo, a special Mewtwo that's ground type. Psychic ground Mewtwo. Moonstone! All of these stones that are probably low likelihood never going to be able to use. Solar Pop, however, useful. Useful, because we can't buy healing items on this game, if you remember rightly. Uh, from the very start of the series, I did explain that. So fun times ahead. Go through this cave to get to Cerulean City. Thanks for the info, buddy. Okay, you're gonna have a grass type move and it's gonna do nothing. To magic slash. So let's just stay in. Oh, okay. We're doing sleep, are we? Right. Oh, it's got acid. Oh, dear. This is risky. But it seems somewhat necessary. Oh, okay. Don't use like razor leaf. Stun spot. I'll take that because now it can't put me to sleep and victimize me completely. Acid. You shouldn't use acid. It's bad for you. We can take that. We cannot take that, though. It doesn't seem to have a Grass-type move. Like an attacking Grass-type move. Peck. Dead. Right, so we've got a Sleepy Pokemon and a Paralyzed Pokemon now. Terrific. However, Cookie is now level 21. Oh, no! Get the cheat, get the quick vice grip in. Don't be paralyzed, don't be paralyzed. Yeah, you fantastic animal. Use pet because it's stupid. Use ditto, uh, use bubble because it's even more stupid. Come on, Cookie, you can do this, right. Oh my god, we're getting quite low on health here. That was a crit and it did exactly the same. <laughs> How does that work? Pokemaths. What? Why did that do so much less? Oh no, 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 no. That was a crit. Good grief. Calm down with the crits. Okay, we're quite low on health there, guys. Please be a Cubone. 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 To oh, my least favorite Pokemon. It's going to end the lock. Oh, wow. Okay, a crit kills us from there. I'm going to have to use that Solar Pop already. Oh, if only we weren't powered. One second, guys.
I'm going to look up Tolos' moveset in Gen 1. Tolos Gen 1 moveset. Best moveset. I didn't want the best moveset. I just wanted moveset. Right. Here we go. Bulbapedia. To the rescue again. It only knows tackle. Do we miss the crit? Should we play it? Oh. No! Well, we played to save ourselves a soda pop. Defense 50. Defense 34. Okay, I don't want to switch either. Fine! Fine! Wasting my solder pop that I just found. Handy that we found it though, otherwise we might have just lost the lock. <laughs> I genuinely might have just lost that lock. Why couldn't you just have used Vice Grip? You survived the potential crit. You idiot. Right, right, we got through that guys. That was tense. We got through that. Okay, we need to head back to the Pokemon Center. Let's speed it up. Nice, we got out without any encounters. Let's heal up. And I think that is a good point to end it on. That 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 near-death experience is a good way to end this episode. So we've just gone over half an hour, I believe. So hopefully this sort of episode length suits you better. Like I say, let me know in the comment section down below. Also let me know what your least favourite Pokemon singular or plural is or are. And uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Don't forget to share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza. You've been amazing. And I will see you next time.